Some people think the crucifixion only took place on Calvary. Well, they'd better wise up. Taking Joey Doyle's life to stop him from testifying is a crucifixion. And dropping a sling on K.O. Dugan because he was ready to spill his guts tomorrow. Well, that's a crucifixion. And every time the mob puts the crushes on a good man that tries to stop him from doing his duty as a citizen, it's a crucifixion. And anybody who sits around and lets it happen, keeps silent about something he knows has happened, shares the guilt of it just as much as the Roman soldier who pierced the flesh of our Lord to see if he was dead. Go back to church, Father. Boys, this is my church. And if you don't think that Christ is down here on the waterfront, you got another guess coming. Every morning when the hiring boss blows his whistle, Jesus stands alongside of you in the shape up. And he sees why some of you get picked and some of you get passed over. And he sees the family men worrying about getting rent in and getting food on the table for the wife and the kids. He sees you selling your souls to the mob for a day's pay. And what does Christ think about the easy money boys who do none of the work? You take all of the gravy. And how does he feel about the fellas who wear the $150 suits and the diamond rings on your union dues and your kickback money? And how does he who spoke up without fear against every evil feel about your silence? You want to know what's wrong with our waterfront? It's the love of a lousy buck. It's making the love of a lousy buck and the cushy job more important than the love of man. It's forgetting that every fellow down here is your brother in Christ. But remember, Christ is always with you. Christ is in the shape up. He's in the hatch. He's in the union hall. And he's kneeling right here beside Dugan. And he's saying with all of you, if you do it to the least of mine, you do it to me. And what they did to Joey, and what they did to Dugan, they're doing to you! And you! You! All of you! And only you! Only you! With the help of God, have got the power to knock him out for good!